So anyway, people, here we go, and this is Glenn, back with a video that's in horizontal because uh, this coin scope won't allow me to go in the other direction. So let's see if we can, no, let's just zoom. Can I put it in? No. Uh, don't worry about that upload so anyway i just want to check to see if this coin scope can actually do old coins but first i'll just do some modern coins and we'll see how we go with the connection so we do a hong kong one uh, okay yeah yeah come up Definitely Hong Kong one dollar, so that seems pretty good. Do a new coin, do a Fiji penny. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. And yes. It does recognize it's Fiji, but it's also got some other ones. So this is not a perfect um, fit. It's 9.59, so all you need to do is remove the coins that are not it. So it's not 9.64. Eliminate. And that's your coin there. So that is nice. Um, Let's try another coin. So we'll do two more modern coins. I will do them in foreign languages. So here we go. Oops, there's an ad, sorry. So it's an Ethiopian 50 centimus. Centim or whatever you want to call it. And yes, yes, it recognizes it as him and then we go to a Greek 50 drachma 1988 and it should actually recognize this so modern coins is actually pretty good at recognizing and let's get a bit older let's get a bit damaged yep quite easily recognize that so here I have another coin it is a Spanish 10 Centimes. Let's see if it actually knows what it is. And it should actually recognize it because it is a pretty modern coin. And whoa, it's got the five centimeters, so we get rid of that. Nope, nope, nope. It's got the five. Okay, so it didn't actually pick up the 10 centimeters. Let's let's see if we can get a better picture and see if it works again. Oh, that's better. So let's go. Next one is going to be a French one, but it's going to be in worse condition. So let's see if our coins that are not as good can be picked up. And as you can see, it's a bit slow. It depends on your internet connection. Which, uh, my internet connection's pretty slow. So, Coinscope, has anyone else actually used it? No, let's see. Ah, oh, yes, it does, did pick it up this time. So, what you need to do is just eliminate the coins that are not your ones. So, not Bulgaria, not Monaco, not, not Spain, not Teutonic, not Monaco. So, one of those two is actually your coin. And you can see it's got two different catalogs world coin gallery and ucoin.net so you can use one of those let's go to a damaged coin this is a french 10 centimeters and its date is actually unknown because uh, it's so worn i can't actually tell the date on it which is on the side with a uh, napoleon the third's head and nope nope no, 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 go back, not Andorra, 
So I did pick it up. Okay, it, we don't know the date of it, but that coin looks pretty similar to mine actually. This one is a Kado. Yeah, this one's a BB. My one is Kado, and you can see the date a little bit more when you can't see it at all. All numerous, all numerous. So that is really good. So let's go back a bit more. So we'll try a really foreign language coin. This is a Mughal Akbar Fallas from Lahore. So I don't know what the actual coin is. I wonder if CoinScope can actually pick it up. Um, yeah, so this is a major problem with people when they get coins. They don't know what they are. And sometimes I don't as well. Like I got the next coin I I think might be a princely state, but I'm not too sure. So it's not Ukraine, it's not Georgia, it's not princely states. Joe Four, China, not Byzantine, not Danish India, so it didn't actually pick up the actual coin. And I've done this coin a few times already, so I know it's not going to pick it up. And here we have another one. So this is dated, I believe that's a 978. Or maybe it could be 678. Um, would it be? No, I'm pretty sure it would be 978. But as you can see, it's got Samoa, Bangladesh, India, British India. No, not that one. Not that one. Not Liberia, definitely. And it actually didn't pick up this coin. I've done this coin a few times as well, so it didn't recognize that. So let's go back really old. Another ad. So the thing about using these is that you've got ads, unless you want to pay for it. Uh, so you've got the no ads up there. And I'm just trying it, so anyway. I think I'll give this a flick. You should actually get this app because it's actually quite useful if you're starting out in coins. But if, you, if you're like me, I'm pretty familiar with most world coins. Uh, I can usually, modern coins, I can pick up whatever country they are. So if it comes from Czech Republic, I use the Corona, I know the denominations. If it comes from Paraguay, I know what coins they use. Um, United States has too many different types of quarters. What else? Mm, if it's in a foreign language like um, Syria or Iraq, oh, I don't think Iraq uses coins really anymore. Okay, not Romania. No, no, no. So this is a Wushu. It's actually a coin that was used between 200 BC and 600 AD, so before the Tang Dynasty. So for about 800 years it was used for. And enter a note. Wushu. Okay, add. Oh no, I don't want to add anymore. So anyway, that's what it is. A wushu. And see. So let's try some Roman coins. So I've got one from Viminasium. Pause this video and go cook. So anyway, I'm back. So let's do this Viminasium Roman coin. And see if it can actually... Find out what the coin is. Ah, uh, Vatican. No, no, nope. Looks like Columbia. Nope. Well, it does have a Roman, but it's not the one I'm looking for. So, let's do it again. This is time we do the opposite side. So this is Philip the Arab coin. 
It's about roughly about 2.30, 2.40. Can't remember the exact date. Need to look that up. The thing about your brain is that you keep on forgetting actual coins and when they were actually minted. And it's also a bit slow. And also I have a, a fake denarius here. Looks like it's made out of aluminium or something. Very lightweight. I'll put that one through, see if it comes up. Key. No. Not Canada. I like the first two coins. Denmark 8 skidding. Denmark 2 shitting. No. It does have a Sisterius or Philip. First I can recognise. Yeah, it's Philip. It's not the other two coins. Ah, uh, there's not just 30, it's just an AE. Alright, let's try another one. Here is a Vespasian Denarius, pretty bad condition. I did look it up on uh, Wild Winds, and it has a, I think it's got a Cadius on it, which is an implement used for, um, I think it's for medical doctors. No, Ethiopian, nope. I'll go back, sorry. No, no. So I actually didn't recognise that coin at all. And let's try the other outside. Did you eat? Is Mama annoying? Yeah. We've got two more. I'll try another. Coin. I'm not too sure if it's Chinese or not. Uh, it's got 10 sin on it, so it looks like it's a 10 cash coin. Uh, Vespasian. Mm. Now it's got the actual emperor. It's not that one. No. So those are three Roman coins, none of them are the actual coins, two are gold and one is bronze type coin, so oh well. So those are recognised Arabic or Roman coins pretty well. Um, okay, let's have a look, see if it recognises this coin. I need it identified anyway, so the inscription's pretty clear. Okay. And it's not the Mexican, it's not the United States, so there's a recognize that it's Chinese. Um, so let's go, it's not the first one, it's not that one, not that. Nope, nope, nope. Go back. Said no. No, no. There's none of those. Um, let's try again. Another ad. Don't worry about the ads. That's, that's how they actually make their money on these apps. So I do not mind. So. Um, some of these coins are just random. And no, I got rid of two Korean ones. It could have been that, but no, no, no. So I didn't recognise that coin at all. Okay, the last one I got is a fake coin. It's got WRL on it, so it is fake. So let's see how this goes. Do, 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 do. Let's play some music while we watch this upload. And in today's music, we have Roxette with Elvis Presley. And those two are playing a song from the Chinese Tang Dynasty. Okay, so Farbing Islamic States, that will be Abbas, Abbasid or whatever. Uh, so it's not those. 
does have a Roman coin, and this one is most, um, Severus Alexander. Spidey image, you can tell it's him. Um, not Basil. And, no, I didn't recognise that as well. I didn't recognise this fake. So, coin scope. It's good for modern coins. Um, the date of cutoff is probably not really that well known. Probably all modern coins that have actually been minted like this, so modern minting processes. Um, but with these older coins here, well, these ones, coin scope is actually not that good at identifying. Hopefully in the future it will get better. Or maybe there is another app out there that's good for identifying other coins that um, you don't know the provenance of. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Hope it is a bit educational. And now uh, please have an awesome coin collecting time. Uh, check out my links below. I'll leave a link to the CoinScope app if you want to download it. Or you can just go to the app store or whatever. And uh, yeah, keep collecting. Thank you and bye-bye.